Hi, my name is John Kim, and I'm a therapist who went through his own rebirth. I share my feelings and revelations. I believe in casual or clinical, and with you instead of at you. I come unrehearsed on purpose because self-help doesn't have to be so complicated. All right, it's going to be 2020, and I believe, especially for me, and I hope you believe this as well because I think it's powerful, that it's not just going to be a new chapter, but it's going to be an act break. An act break is not only uh, um, like a, a building of your story, it's a complete turning point, right? It's when the the whole situation for the protagonist changes. Um, act breaks also include obstacles, of course, and a new mountain to climb, but the act break propels the character and story forward and uh, you're you're just going into a whole new world. And I think that's more exciting than a new chapter. And every time a a new year comes around, I I sit here and I think about um, it becoming, it being the new act break in my life, not just a new chapter. And I think with that mindset, now you're running towards something. Um, You're running into a new world and you're with your your arms open instead of, uh, you know, instead of with fists and white knuckles and you're open to all the new exciting possibilities that 2020 um, can hold for you. So here are um, a few questions because questions like uh, rudder can guide you and and kind of get the, the ball rolling or get you to start thinking. Question one, what important relationship would you like to improve the most this year? So think about um, all your relationships, and just pick one. You know, um, ideally, of course, you want to improve all your relationships, but let's start with one. What's one relationship you would like to improve this year? And I want to say also the second part of that question is how are you going to do it? Because I think a lot of people want things, but they don't think about the how, the execution. So ask yourself how you're going to improve that relationship. Side note, I hope you picked um, your relationship with yourself. Okay, moving on. Number two, how would you like to positively uh, positively influence someone else's life? And I say this because when you are making it about other people, you can pull yourself out of all the you know all the shit you're going through. You can actually find empowerment and traction in life. Uh, if you feel stuck by helping other people. So I know this as a, a therapist and coach. Um, people are meant to be catalysts and collide with other people and help them um, by sharing their story. And, and that's like the whole point of us doing life together is that we help each other. And there's so much uh, power and humanness and uh, a, a sense of purpose and fulfillment and meaning in that. So ask yourself, who would you like to help and how are you going to do it? All right, question three, how can you deeply improve your relationship with yourself? And um, in case your, <laughs> your answer to the first question wasn't you, um, I'm, I'm going to make it you now. How can you deeply improve your relationship with yourself this year? And I want to italicize the word deeply. What does that look like? So it's not just about uh, a new body. I mean, it can be, but uh, on a deeper level, how can you improve your relationship with yourself? What do you need to do to uh, like yourself more? And I always you know, tell people that to love yourself is easier than to like yourself because it's easy to love someone. Well, some, it depends, I guess, on the person. <laughs> but uh, it, it, it's easy in the sense that it's a choice, right? And some days it is easy. Some days it's hard. Uh, we love people that we don't like because maybe they're family members or because we have history with them. But to actually like someone, that is difficult because there, there's no... There's no choice in that. You actually, it has to come from an honest place. So, so you know, the, liking someone is earned. So to like yourself is a, a big deal. And it's something that I think fluctuates. But when you think about deeply improving your relationship with yourself, um, I like asking the question, how am I going to like myself more? Who do I need to be? What do I need to do? How do I need to design my life? 
What do I need to, need to give myself? Uh, do I need to draw boundaries? Who in my life do I need to start cutting out or disengaging with, right? Um, do I need to, to exit a relationship, maybe, you know? Do I need to change my career? What do I need to do to like myself more? We'll be right back after this brief message. One of the greatest things about the internet is that you can learn anything, anywhere you want, at any time. And there's a lot of noise out there in platforms that teach courses. I use Skillshare. Skillshare is an amazing online learning community with thousands of amazing classes uh, covering dozens and dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills. I've taken classes on um, how to produce content. I've taken classes on podcasting, on how to send emails. It's amazing and it's super, super convenient and just streamlined. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you two free months. That's right. Two free months of Skillshare. It's really easy. Just go to Skillshare.com forward slash angry. Go to Skillshare.com forward slash angry and you will get two free months of Skillshare. There are thousands and thousands of classes on any topic. Go do it right now and you can start learning to be a better person. Next question. Who or what other than yourself are you most committed to loving and serving? And, 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 you know, serving doesn't mean submissive, right? Serving doesn't mean losing your, yourself, um, sacrificing yourself. Uh, serving is a gift. We are all here to serve in some way, and serving uh, empowers us, right? Serving actually gives us a, a cape. So it's not just who, it's who or what other than yourself, because hopefully you are committed to loving and serving yourself for the rest of your life. Um, are you going to uh, love and serve in 2020? So because there's a what, it could be a thing. It could be your company. You know, it could be um, a movement. It could be the flag that you're waving. It could be, it could be a craft. It could be like, you know what, I want to serve uh, and I want to commit to my writing because it's something that I haven't done in decades. Or I want to commit and serve to my, I don't know, my fitness, my... Um, long motorcycle rides, my uh, inhaling of donuts. Okay, I'm kidding. But what, if not a person, do you want to commit to and serve? All right, question five. This one's really um, simple. Who are three people in your life you want to spend more time with? This is important because we are tribal creatures, and I'm telling you that there is power in being social with your tribe, your community. Um, I really believe today at 46, uh, sitting in my bedroom, talking into this $9 microphone by myself, uh, that you're meant to do life with other people. So, in, you know, growing up as a kid, I was always outside and always getting into trouble and always doing things um, with my crew. So whether it was a breakdancing crew or um, BMX bikes or uh, my skating crew, there was always a crew involved. And that got me through um, a childhood where uh, my parents were always gone. That got me through a lot of dark times because I would have, if I didn't have that crew, I would be isolating, right? And then I grew up and then I, I, I started isolating. I, got, I grew up, I got married and I, did, I didn't put any effort into friends or anything social. I thought uh, success meant to just put your head down and grind. Um, and I felt that, and it makes you feel invisible and lonely. And then after my uh, my divorce and rebirth, I found friends through fitness, through community, um, online communities, uh, the uh, Chaos Intensive that uh, that um, that uh, Noel and I created, and uh, that's now called Journey Coaching. Um, I found uh, friends offline. I found friends online, and and. Because of this, um, I realized that like li life actually goes from black and white to in color. Like so, just last night I went out and uh, spent uh, spent some time with a friend that I haven't seen in a long time, and I remember coming home feeling just alive and and just feeling full, you know. And it's so easy 
because when life happens, uh, especially if you're raising a family, if you have kids, it's really easy to lose track of friends and not give yourself social time. Um, and it's not, it's just not going to fall in your lap. You have to give yourself that. So sorry to be long winded, but it's something that, um, I'm passionate about. I think it's really important. So for 2020, who are three people you would like to spend more time with? All right, number six, if your relationships were ideal, what's one thing that would be different about you? So instead of, um, because I think we uh, blame and change, want to control other people, what's one thing that would be different about you? Question seven, who in your life should be acknowledged more? Don't say you. Who in your life should be acknowledged more? And also, what does that look like? Maybe it's someone that brings you the most resistance, you know? And you're not doing it um, in an inauthentic way. So I actually pick someone that, that you really mean, <laughs> that you really want to acknowledge more. Um, maybe it's your mom. Maybe it's someone that you feel like uh, you haven't acknowledged in a long time and you realize how much they mean to you or um, how much they've done for you, right? Number eight, in what ways are you willing to communicate better with others? Now, this is huge because communication is everything. And if you want a better relationship with uh, not only yourself, but with other people, it all kind of starts here. Um, m- a lot of clients uh, see me because they struggle with communication and I see how that directly impacts a relationship. So in what ways are you willing to communicate better with others? Number nine, how would others benefit from you taking better care of yourself? So not making it about you, how would others benefit from you taking better care of yourself. And I think there's power there because it's hard for us to practice self-care because we think it's selfish, we're not used to it, we're used to taking care of other people, but if you start thinking about how others will benefit from that, then that can definitely give you more um, motivation to to practice self-care and take care of yourself better. All right, and the final question is, is there any relationship in your life that would benefit from forgiveness? And we're ending with forgiveness because I think forgiveness can clear the state the state, yes, it can clear the state, the state that you live in, <laughs> and, but also you're, you're, it clear the slate. And um, when we are angry at people, um, we walk with that, right? They become stones uh, in our shoe. Um, walking with anger and resentment is, it's, it's like Chinese water torture. <laughs> it's going to make you, it's really hard to um, f- produce joy and be happy daily if you are harbor- harboring hate, anger, and resentment. So for 2020, I think to uh, cut those shackles off so you can fly and enter your new act break and write a better story, what relationships in your life would benefit from you forgiving? And then ask yourself what forgiveness looks like. I want to thank you for listening to me, um, whether it was one episode or many this year. Um, This was the year that I kind of um, launched my podcast and had had become addicted to it. And and, uh, um, I promised myself I would do 12 12 episodes and now I'm in the, the 200s and Still using my little $9 microphone, and uh, I have my little cup of coffee and my thoughts, and um, really, uh, it means so much to me that, that you guys are listening and, uh, and getting something out of it. And also, uh, if you're not getting my text, check it out. Um, I am sending daily text and uh, a long Google Doc at the end, um, and every week there's a different topic, and People seem to really be liking it. Um, it is the price of a latte. It's five bucks a month, um, but texting is very expensive, and I have a small team putting them, uh, helping me put them together. So that's what that's where that money goes to, and uh, that's it. So j- check me out at theangrytherapist.com if you want my text. Um, if not, I hope you have uh, an amazing mindset that's gonna turn 2020 into a life that you have never imagined. Happy act break. Hey, if you have a passion to help others and want to become a life coach, or you just want to acquire tools to change your own life, learn more about our Catalyst Life Coaching Intensive. We are an evidence-based training program with an amazing, authentic, vibrant community, and we give lifetime support. Just go to my website, theangrytherapist.com, and click on Life Coach Training.
Hey, before you go, if you like my ramblings and revelations and shares, I am now texting people directly to their phone. Just go to my website, theangrytherapist.com, if you want to subscribe. I'll be doing weekly text, five days a week, reminders, and also uh, mindsets and uh, exercises and challenges. And every week there will be a different theme, a different topic. So I hope to see you in your phone. And also, if you enjoy this conversation, I hope you help me uh, spread the dialogue and help other people by sharing it. You never know what people need to hear. So if it's helped you, I hope you uh, can help me help others.